Hi, I'm Dan from Dan Cooper Garden, and today I'm going to talk you through my signature tool range, which is exclusive to Dan Cooper Garden. Now, my tool range is made in the Netherlands, and it's a factory that has been going for 125 years. They hand forge the tools, as they've done for all that time, from a very hard boron steel, and that makes them really, really strong. And they burnish them as well with this lovely mottled finish, which is something that's been going since the Victorian age. They have ash handles, which makes them really warm and comfortable to grip onto and they really are sort of heirlooms of the future. So really beautiful tools. And I'm gonna start with this trowel, which is, you know, an essential garden tool, along with the hand fork, one of the most important tools that you would need in your garden shed. It's got a lovely elegant shape and it's got sharpened edges and that will help you go through really hard or compacted soil much better than some cheaper trowels will. And they do have a little bit of weight about them, these tools as well, which is what makes them so strong and gives them an edge that you can sharpen. Now, if you're one of these people who has really hard or compacted or stony soil or you're trying to plant under shrubs and trees, then a tulip trowel is absolutely fantastic. It's called a tulip trowel because of its shape, because it has this sort of crown-like top to it, and it's very dished, very curved. And what's great about this trowel is that these tines and the Vs will cut into soil that's full of roots, and that will enable you to plant under trees and shrubs and make a really good, nice, neat, round planting hole. Also, it's one of those tools that no one has, so it makes a really good gift. My most popular tool at the moment is the Dutch planting trowel. And this is a trowel that was originally designed for planting the bulb fields in Holland. So it's a very different kind of trowel to the ones that we're used to. And you use it in a very different way. So you plunge it into the soil vertically like that. You pull it forward and you make a little planting hole behind it where you can drop a bulb in. And very conveniently, it's about three times the height of a tulip bulb, which means that's the optimum planting depth for a tulip bulb. So about three bulbs deep. But you can use it for planting anything. And a lot of people that have arthritis find that action a lot easier to do than the scooping action you would with a normal trowel. Now, the mother of all trowels is my garden scoop. And this is a huge trowel, which is really designed for, yes, planting and digging holes, but it's very useful for compost or animal feed or grit or anything you need to get out of a sack. It has a lovely sharp cutting edge, so it absolutely sighs through the soil and a big dish there. So you can mound that up with um, compost and it probably you know, gets the job done three times quicker than a normal trowel. Now, next, I've got four different kinds of weeder. And the most popular one is the dandelion weeder. We all have too many dandelions, and pretty as they are, you can have too much of a good thing. So this is for any weed that has a really long taproot. So that would include teasels, docks, dandelions, thistles, anything like that. And this V shape at the end is designed to cut through those really deep, long tap roots because you must get the whole root out when you're weeding. So you plunge it in at an angle to the root, if that's your uh, root going down there, so that it cuts it right down at the bottom. And then you can lift the plant out, complete with its root, and it won't regrow. So that's a very useful tool to have in your shed. This is a very old fashioned tool, which uh, my grandparents would have known as a daisy grubber, but I've called it a lazy lawn weeder. It's for getting out those shallow rooted weeds like daisies and plantains, and you put it in the ground around the weed and then you rock it back and the weed comes popping up out of the ground. So it's really good, particularly for lawns. Obviously, we've all come to appreciate now that Wildflowers and things are great to have in lawns, but if there's a place where you don't want them, then that's a really good tool to use. Another old design of tool is the Cape Cod Weeder. This was designed by the early American settlers for weeding between rows of vegetables, and it has a sharp edge on the inside, so when you pull it through the soil, 
towards you, it cuts through the weeds. And if it's a dry day, you just leave the weeds there to dry out and they will die and the nutrients will return to the soil. So that's a very handy tool, especially for weeding in quite confined spaces because it's nice and neat and compact. Now, at the end of the year, everyone is trying to get the weeds out from between their paving stones and cobbles, and this is the tool you need for that. It's a crack and crevice weeder. This one's already seen some action. As you can see, this is the one I actually use. And you use this to get in between those paving stones where things tend to get in craftily and it's really hard to get them out. So it's very, very strong. It won't bend or break and you can really get in there and um, get the weeds out and clear out any gaps that you've got in between. Now we're on to cultivating now, cultivating tools, and this is a lovely little hand hoe, very robust, it's got a nice um, cutting edge on it again, and you pull that towards you just to hoe through the soil, you can remove weeds that way, but a really nifty trick with this tool is to just turn it on its side where you've got this lovely V shape, you can pull it towards you and create drills for sowing seeds in your garden and then you can use the flat side again to just close those drills up and hey presto you've got your seeds sown. But this will do lots of hard work in your garden and you'll never want to be without it. Now here is a very similar tool, similar construction, but it is a cultivator. And you would use this for breaking up the surface of the soil if it's compacted. So for example, if you want to sow some seeds or you want to do some planting, or you want to remove moss or anything like that. And one of its big advantages, especially in the autumn, is that you can use it to get leaves and fallen things out from between plants because those lovely sharp tines will hook onto them and you can yank them out um, and get rid of them, put them on your compost heap. Very similar to that um, is this one, the claw cultivator. It is a bigger and more robust version of the last tool and one of my absolute favourites because you can really get to work with this one. It will really break up compacted soil, make it ready for planting your plants. And again, brilliant for getting leaves and drains where they get clogged up. I find this a really invaluable tool. Now, right at the beginning, I mentioned that the trowel was one of my most indispensable tools. And I reckon next to that is always going to be a fork. And this is just a brilliant fork. It has three tines and each is sharpened towards the tip. There you are, you can see just how sharp, I'm snagging my finger on it there. So that is absolutely brilliant for weeding. You know, it's a very, very multi-purpose tool, weeding, cultivating the soil, and you know, you can either buy this as it is, or you can buy it in a bundle with the trowel. And again, that's a super gift for somebody, particularly if they're just starting out in their gardening journey and they um, want the essential tools. Last but not least is the bulb planter. Now, bulb planters are not just good for planting bulbs, but they're also good for planting things like potatoes and lilies, any bulb that will really fit into that sort of diameter here. And they're particularly useful if you're planting into heavy or compacted soil, or majorly if you're planting into lawns or any grassy areas because you put the bulb planter in, you wiggle it down, it will remove a core of soil which you can take out, you pop the bulb in and then you just push the core of soil out onto the top of the bulb and press it back in and hey presto it's done and you won't even know that you did it in the first place. There are lots of bulb planters around, but this one is incredibly strong and it has a very sharp edge here. So even in the stoniest or most compacted soil, that's going to go in nicely. And there's a great ash grip on here because you can need a lot of pressure to do that. So it's really important that the handle is comfortable. So that's the range of 13 tools. Just a little bit about how to care for them. So all tools, the biggest enemy is always dampness, wetness. So never leave them out in the rain because that's the worst thing you can possibly do. So if they have got a little bit wet because you've been using them, first thing to do when you get them indoors is to just brush them off with a nice stiff tool brush like this. So give, don't be shy, just give them a really good brush like that. 
And this edge here on the tool brush will help you get off anything that's really, really sort of baked on hard. Then um, it's a good idea to just dry them. So if that was wet, just dry them. And that's the handle as well. So just make sure that they go away completely dry. And that is your everyday maintenance routine for a tool, really. If you can hang them up somewhere where the air can circulate around them, that's much better because it will stop any moisture or condensation forming on them while you're not using them. For less routine maintenance, so every so often, you might want to apply a little bit of um, oil to these blades and that will just help, again, to stop any moisture settling on them and so if you're one of these people who likes to sort of stop gardening for the winter months then just put that layer of oil on there and put them away and they should be great when you come back to them in the spring and for the handles again handles need very little maintenance but as they get older they will start to dry out a little bit and you can apply a little bit of linseed oil just with a cloth to the handle and that will just bring out the lovely glossy patina again and they should be ready to use if you're someone who likes a really sharp edge to your tool, like the um, trowel here, you can use a diamond file or any other kind of file you've got to just give the edges a really good sharpen and that will help them just stay nice and sharp and help them glide through the soil even more. So there we are, that's my signature tool range. All of those tools and more are available at dancoopergarden.com and I look forward to seeing you next time.